Welcome back, Pirates. I'm Nikki. And I'm Dave, and these are your announcements for March 15th. Hey, seniors, here's a chance to win $1,000. If you are currently in an ESL class or have ever been in one, you can apply for the Alejandro Diaz Memorial Scholarship. Submit the completed application by Friday, March 16th, 2018. You can find the application at the link below. Sounds like a great opportunity. It sure does. The, Miss, the annual Mr. Pirate Contest. Mr. Pirate will take place Thursday, March 22nd at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets cost $5. Come out to see Billy Glazer, Sean O'Brien, Jack Whistler, Brian Smith, and Ty Angelus. Complete the, ty the, complete the for the title of Mr. Pirate 2018. Be sure to follow the Twitter updates for more. Twitter page for more updates. Students interested in careers in, insur in the insurance industries, including actual actuarial claims, finance, risk engineering, operations, or underwriting, sign up in student services for the April 5th career track to Zurich in insurance. <laughs> Dan Sipalooza is Friday during lunch periods in the cafe all lunch periods in the cafeteria. Come and check out the amazing dancers here at PHS. Fishing Club is meeting every Thursday morning in room 142 from 7.30 to 8 a.m. Our first official fishing outing will be Wednesday, March 21st, after school, in, after school until 6 at Twin Lakes in Palatine. You can pick up a field trip form from, the, from Mr. Shager in Applied Tech or Mr. Sconey in Science. You'll need to have an Illinois fishing license, which is $15, and purchase a Twin Lakes season pass, which is $18. Mr. Shager and Mr. Sconey will be happy to help you with this process. We look forward to Palatine High School's first official fishing event. Come on our trip and be a part of fishing history. March 13th to April 15th is National Deaf History Month. Throughout, th throughout the month, Sign Language Club will be sharing stories of people who have helped, ins helped inspire breakthrough boundaries and show pride of deaf culture. To start, we see America's Got Talent contestant, Maddie Harvey. So, you were singing before you lost your hearing? Yeah, I've been singing since I was four. So I, I left music after I lost my hearing and then uh, figured out how to get back into singing with muscle memory, using visual tuners and trusting my pitch. So your shoes are off because you're feeling the vibration. Is that how you're following the music? Yeah, I'm feeling the tempo, the, the beat uh, through the floor. I don't feel the way I used to. The sky is gray much more than it is blue. going to need a translator for this. Hi, 
Hi there guys, I'm here to take over the rest of these announcements. Today is the last day to sign up for an audition slot for VShow. Stop by the lower level auditorium door to sign up today for an audition time on Monday or Tuesday. All students are invited to attend the D211 Career Expo on Wednesday, April 4th from 4.30 to 6.30 at Palatine High School. Please see attached flyer for registration information. The Genders and Sexualities Alliance is meeting tomorrow morning at 7.45 in room 203. We'll be working on preparations for the National Day of Silence. See Ms. Ross or Ms. Kupka in English with questions. And now let's head over to Nikki for some insider info. Welcome back Pirates, I'm Nicole and this is Insider Info. This month's theme is Look Up. Let's talk to a couple of our fellow pirates and talk to them about the recent addiction to technology and it becoming a social problem. In a way, I think it is because I feel like when you hang out with your friends, like you want it to be, you want to have, have a good time and you want to hang out with them. But then at the same time, there's like a temptation to like look at your phone all the time. But I feel like it's like, but in like a way, it like helps us connect to like um, to like other people and like other parts of the world and stuff. I do feel like technology has become a social problem. Well, if, well, I feel like it like has allowed us to become more connected. I also feel like it separates us because like you feel like the need to be on your phone in like almost every situation, whether you're like dishing out with friends or family. Like your phone always needs to be on the table or in your pocket. I just feel like it has, it's like it's a constant reminder for like technology in your daily life. Not especially so. I think people have uh, bad self control over it, but I think it's not like a huge problem. I don't think it is because uh, depending on who you are and how it's going to let it affect you, some people are more outgoing and sociable, but others are like zoned in on their phones and more just excluded from other people. Just like learning like to like how to like restrict yourself and like when to like put down your phone and like look up and like pay more attention to people and have like a more one-on-one -on -one time with them. I think people just need to limit themselves with how much technology they use like a day. Like take your like step back and just like spend some time with like friends or family without technology. I think there needs to be like more uh, limitations on uh, how many hours we spend on it, getting you know getting to bed on time, doing our homework and all that. I think what, we can, what can be done is just like putting them away. It's not nobody can really force another person to stop using their phones. It's more about like just yourself. You can you have the power to do whatever you want, whether you want to put it away or not. So. That was Insider Info, and I'm Nicole Wagner. What do you want to have us look into next? Tweet us at PHSPTV with the hashtag PHSInsider for more. Thanks, Nikki. Tonight, baseball has a game at home against Cary Grove. Softball has a game against Carmel at home. Girls Water Polo has a game against Maine West at home. And Girls Soccer has a quad at Carmel High School. On Friday, Girls Water Polo has a tournament at Glenbrook South High School. Baseball has a game against St. Charles East at home and Boys Gymnastics is hosting an invite at home. On Saturday, Badminton has an invitational here at Palatine. Both boys and girls track and field has a meet at North Central College. Baseball has a doubleheader at home. Softball is taking on Glenbrook South at home. Girls soccer has a game against Rockford Boylan at home. And girls water polo has day two of their water polo tournament at Glenbrook South. Good luck everyone! From all of us here at PTV, I'm Campbell Boston. You stay classy, Pirates.